Hello friends, welcome to risingpearl.com. Today we are going to take a look at question number 30 that appeared in 2016 CBSC class 10 math exam. Let's take a look at the question and then find out how can we solve this. So the question number 30 goes like this, it is given below here. So in the figure given below or the figure below shown is a sector OAP. So OAP, this is a sector of a circle with center O containing angle theta. So it looks like this angle is given as theta. This is the, the angle of the sector OAP and this angle is theta. Now AB is perpendicular to radius OA. So if we join OA which is the radius, this is a sector, right? So we draw a line AB which is perpendicular. This is 90 degrees. Perpendicular to OA meets OP when we produce it at B, meaning we have a sector OAP. So when we produce, when we extend OP in a straight line, that intersects this perpendicular line at point B. Now we have to find out, we have to prove that perimeter of the shaded region, shaded in red here, is this big formula. Looks like we have a lot of trigonometric ratios. R, R must be the radius of the circle, tan theta plus sec theta plus pi theta by 180 minus 1. So now one thing immediately you should uh, see is that perimeter. Whenever we have a shaded area, shaded part, question really involves most of the time the area of the shaded region. But this question is about perimeter, not area. This is one very important thing. You don't want to make a mistake. Now, so what is the perimeter of the shaded region? right? So the perimeter will be equal to the length of the arc AP, right? So th this is AP, the arc AP, right? Plus PB, the length of the site PB, plus the length of the site AB, because that really is the perimeter that we need to find out. Right? So let's find out the first one. So we have to find out the length AP. We have to find out the length PB or BP. And we have to find out the length AB. So AB and BP are straight lines, but this is an arc. So how can you find out the length of the arc? So we have seen earlier when we were talking about sectors that how do we find out the length of the arc and how do we find out the area of a sector, I'm going to include the links to those videos on the upper right hand side corner of this video. But if you recall, so the length of arc AP will be equal to total perimeter is 2 pi r, right? So if we divide this by 60, that will give us the arc for 1 degree. And if we have theta degrees, so we have to multiply that by theta. So 2 pi r, the total circumference divided by 360. So in other words, if we were to go from here 360 degrees, the entire circle, then we would have covered 2 pi r, which is the circumference. So for 1 degree, it will be 2 pi r by 360. And if it is theta degrees, it will be multiplied by theta. That will give us the length of the arc. Or in other words, the 2 can cancel out, so this will be 180 or pi r theta by 180. So this will be the length of the arc AP. So we have to find out the perimeter. So the first part is the arc, we should say arc AP, pi r theta by 180. And if you just glance over, looks like we have a term that looks similar, right? So sounds like we are in the right direction. Let's now find out the other two line, the other two lengths. Now, if this angle is theta and this is 90 degrees and this is the radius, OA is a radius. So what is the relationship between AB and this side? Well, because our triangle ABO is a right triangle because this is 90 degree given. So in the right triangle, we can say tan theta is basically the tan theta will be the 
side AB, right, divided by the adjacent side, which is OA. So, tan theta will be the opposite side divided by the adjacent side. That is tan theta. So, let's write it here. So, tan theta. So, or what we can say is that AB. Remember, we are trying to find out the length AB, right? So, AB can be equal to, so OA. What is OA? OA is the radius R. So, it will be OA multiplied by tan theta. Or we will simply say it will be r times tan theta. So, we have successfully found out AB. The length AB will be r times tan theta. Right? Now, we have to find out the length BP or PB. So, let us find out what is the length PB. So, now again if you look at the triangle OAB, this is a right triangle, right? because this angle is 90 degree and I did not I didn't show this, I, we talked about this, you know, when we found out the length AB, but pretty much the same thing. Same triangle, an angle BAO is 90 degree, so this is a right triangle. So, now the question is, we want to find out BP, right? So, what we know is, we know this angle is theta. Now, we cannot simply find BP but we can find out this entire length BO, right? From there we can find out BP because this is R and this is R. So now if this is R OA and this is the length we want to find out, what is the relationship? And this is theta. So adjacent side and hypotenuse. So what is the relationship? That will be cos theta. If you remember cos theta, cos theta ratio is adjacent side divided by hypotenuse. That is cos theta, hypotenuse. So adjacent side is OA divided by hypotenuse is OB. So this is cos theta, right? So we want to find out OB. So or in other words, OB will be equal to so, OB will go over here. So, OA is R divided by cos theta. Now, 1 by cos theta, we can write this as 1 by cos theta times R. 1 by cos theta is sec theta times R. Now, this is OB, but do we need, do we want OB? No, we want OB is this entire length, right? But we want BP. So, BP will be equal to, so OB is this entire length, right? This is, this entire length is OB. But we only want BP or PB. So, if we simply take the entire length and subtract PO, then we can find PB. So, this will be OB entire length minus OP, OP. So, let us take the entire length which is R times sec theta minus what is OP? OP is simply R, right? Radius. So, we get this. So, at this point, we have all the three sides of this shaded region. We have the sector length, we have AB and we have BP. So, let us add all of them to find out the perimeter and see if we can get to this formula. So, we have R sec theta minus R for this one, right? So, let us give ourselves a little bit more space. So, the perimeter, perimeter will be equal to, first we saw pi R theta by 180, which was this length, the arc AP, right? That was pi R theta by 180. Then we found out the length AB. This was R times tan theta. So, this length AB was R times tan, tan theta. And lastly, we just saw PB was R times 
sec theta minus r. So if we look closely here, we have a term that contains r, 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 r. So we can take r common. Then this becomes pi theta pi 180, right? Plus this is tan theta. Plus this is sec theta minus 1. Now, is this what we have to prove? Let's take a look. So, r times tan theta. So, r is common, which is the radius. So, we have the radius common. Multiply by tan theta. Do we have a tan theta? Yes, we do. Tan theta plus sec theta. So, we have plus tan theta plus sec theta plus pi theta pi 180. Pi theta by 180, we have this term. Minus 1, we have minus 1. So, hence, we have actually proved that the perimeter of this shaded region is indeed equal to r times pi theta by 180 plus tan theta plus f theta minus 1. This is how we solve question number 30.